OK, interactive programming for LVM table gen. I'm going to start off with the problem. Uh, table gen underlies large parts of LVM, uh, generates a lot of repetitive code. So you're going to lead to learn it eventually. The existing table gen is very domain specific. There's a lot of strange concerns in it that are not really related to the language itself. And we have tutorials, but they go from, uh, they're set on two ends, very basic, or they're literally the language reference. So existing solutions in other languages, you've got interactive prompts like in Python, C++ with Kling, and Lisp has had this forever. Online compilers, we all know Compiler Explorer. We have websites that can break down shell commands, things like that. Clang has a bunch of options that can dump out the internal state as it's doing things. And a final thing I found in a lot of other communities is Jupyter Notebooks. And the common thing with all these things is you can learn what you want, when you want, without asking anybody's permission or having them write you a new tutorial. So what is a notebook? A notebook is a set of text and code cells. You can think of it as like a one column spreadsheet. And these cells can be edited and rerun, and the results are shown in line. So you can have markdown text that renders into the, the final formatting. And then if you have code, you'll have the source code, and then the results of running that code. Those results come from a thing called a kernel, which knows how to run that and send back whatever the result might be. Uh, that can be images, HTML, uh, interactive stuff. In our case, just the stood out from TableGen compiler. The cool thing is this notebook is contained in a single JSON file. Um, and then you can commit that into source control. Uh, and you can also render that notebook into static formats like HTML or PDF. So you could upload that straight to GitHub. And you don't have to install Jupyter locally. So I wrote a kernel to uh, run TableGen code. You see in the screenshot at the top, there's a markdown cell. Um, then there is a code cell. Uh, in the background, we're caching all the previous uh, pieces of source code to emulate a persistent state like you would get with a Python notebook. So we reset that cache. Um, we have a comment. We have a class foo. We run it, and LVM table gen says you have a class foo. So this is building on the existing MLIR kernel. We're running LVM table gen in the background. I mentioned reset. If you need to pass arguments to the compiler, you can also use a percent args magic, as it's called in uh, Jupyter terminology. My goal with this uh, initially is to produce an interactive, editable table gen tutorial, or more realistically, a set of tutorials to make them digestible. Uh, and you should be able to read it in Jupyter, like you can see in the screenshot there, uh, or as a static document just by going to the GitHub repo. Status of this is that there is an RFC for the initial work. So if you have feedback from today, you can put that there, see other people's ideas. The kernel's in review. I'm kind of leaving it in review until it, I feel like it's mature enough to write a good set of tutorials, the first thing. And the first tutorial notebook, which goes from the very basics up to just up to multi-classes, that will be where the next one starts, is also in review. In the future, uh, what I would like to do is do more domain-specific tutorials. Specifically for ARM's purposes, we'd like to do tutorials about how to add an instruction to the ARM backend. And to, to help with that, I'd like to be able to visualize the class structure that a table gen file defines, literally output a graph in the notebook to show that, and also do output filtering. So if you have something like um, an instruction definition, that's going to be maybe thousands of classes, but you really only care about a few of those. So you should be able to filter those and see what you actually care about. And thank you for listening, and thank you to Jacques for writing the initial MLIR kernel. <laughs>